Hey, hey, back with you again. Now, before I get started, um, this is this is pretty sad what happened. I mean, probably there'll be a little cousin, but just not towards. It's just probably. Be, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll try and keep it as clean as possible because because of I'm paying. I want to pay my respects and pay tribute to this to our sister. Her name her name was Olivia Hooker. And she was uh, she was 103 years old, and sad news that some of you may or may not know have been li- living on a rock. Um, Olivia Hooker um, that sadly passed away. Well, and I will say, you know, it's sad, and you know what? But I mean, I will, I will say she was a survivor. I mean, and one thing that just really grinding my gears is some media just are trying to dismiss. You know, the thing that she was really known for the most. I mean, well, she was the first to enlist as the U.S., the black woman, first black woman to be in a, the U.S. Coast Guard that that we know. And there's a picture I'll show right here. As you can see on your your top right, that little picture right there, yeah. And there she is as um, the first, when she became the first black woman to be a Coast Guard. And also, I mean, but that's all the the lamestream media is trying their best to even talk about, but they don't want to talk about what was she really known for the most. And those of you who don't know about Black Wall Street, you should go and read it up for yourself, you know. I encourage people to do their own research about Black Wall Street and what happened when there was a terrorist attack that terrorist attack that happened in Black Wall Street thanks to demonic white supremacists. And turns out we didn't know about this for years until she spoke about it. And they talked about the Tulsa, Oklahoma race riots, but they didn't talk to, they get into detail about it until she came along. And it turns out she was, as they say, she's one of the last survivors of what happened at that very horrible and terrorizing day. And it's, like you said, and she lived to tell the tale. Had she had not lived, rights versus the world would just bury it. That's what they do. And then they wonder why nature keeps kicking their kicking their ass, especially it's going to a point even like everything's burning these white friends from the sun, the water, and every other elements, even the plants, especially the animals, everything under the sun that's burning them because Mother Nature's pretty much done with them. And that, you know, because they've done so much to cause death and destruction across this planet. So, but I will say that she was one heck of a survivor for her to even live to see that and and for her to even keep telling the tale because we, we had to, we had to know. And I thank her, you know, for telling us this. I really do. And you know, with Black Wall Street, you know how like that people put that big fat lie, black people need these white supremacists to help them build and whatnot. No, Black Wall Street proved black people can do can do well on their own. The same with Rosewood and whatnot. Only problem is it kept getting destroyed. I know some folks out there in the black community are like, oh, if we build again, they'll just destroy it. I mean, at the well, here's what you can do: protect, do it, protect it at all costs. Heck, you know, look at take um brothers and sisters in the northern Sentinel, Sentinel Islands who have not never been colonized. Because you want to know what they did? They fought back. They protected their 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 homeland. They protected their family, protected their culture, their identity, their history, and their the way of life at all costs. And that's what we have to do to step up. Protect because like white supremacists, they are so bitter and hateful. They'll do everything to destroy. So I mean, which really goes to show we can do fine just on our own. And we just want to be left alone, just like how the brothers and the North and all this want to be left alone. And but I will say this to my sister, um, to the to the family, I offer my condolences, and I'll post a link about so you can hear her story, and so you can see what you think. And I just want to say to Olivia Hooker, thank you for telling us your story, thank you for what you've done. To contribute to history and I will say this Olivia Hooker may you rest in power